Tell me, I'm looking for the Maoists. Have you seen any Maoists? Maoists? I'm looking for the Maoists. Have you seen any Maoists? I haven't seen any Maoists, but I heard that still the Maoists, they are very much active in Kathmandu Valley. Are you a Maoist? I'm Polish. Do you know what they look like? No, I don't see. Oh, but you're ready for them. Uh, I'm looking for the Maoist rebels. Have you seen any Maoist rebels? Me? Yeah. Hi. I'm looking for the Maoists. Have you seen any Maoists? Okay. Is he a Maoist? Is he a... <laughs> of course he's not Maoist. Huh? Oh, you know, but you can't say. I cannot say. It's a secret. Yeah. You don't party with them? You party. <laughs> Sometimes party. Yeah, if I see one. Wearing red, I'll, yeah, I'll bring yeah. them to you. Yeah, why not? Okay. It's my duty. You have a very heavy protection here, huh? Yeah. yeah. You feel safe? Yeah, yes, in our defense, in our defense. So are they going to come here? Is that why you have this protection? Okay. They always live in the forest, in the jungle. You know? Okay. In the city, not possible. Not here in the city? Not here, city. So I got to go to the countryside? Yeah. Where are the Maoists? Money, <laughs> Huh? Okay, but here's money. Adio, Namashiva. Where are your shoes? So we just left uh, Nepal Ganj and uh, a minute later we're at our first checkpoint. So checkpoint? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This is uh, Krishna. He's helping us find the Maoists. And this is Pandip. He's also helping us find the Maoists. Yeah. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Oh, we go to... Um, where are we going? Dang. Are there Maoists there? Maoists is the... Countryside. Countryside? Countryside, no. Plain side, no. Plain side, no. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Why? Why? For security. Security? Yes. Yeah. Who enforces the curfew? In Royal Nepal Army. Royal Nepal Army. Yeah. So what do we do? We gotta go rent this Mahindra Jeep. For 5,000 Nepalese rupees. Roughly $50. We're leaving this one horse town. We contracted a vehicle and we're going to Tila, which is the last uh, mountain refuge before we get into the Maoist camp. Well, this is our first night. Out in the Nepalese wilderness, waking up to the morning light. A car broke down twice last night and ended up in this ditch. The accelerator was broken? What does that mean? Our car broke down, so now we gotta get on this local bus. And in Nepali tradition, we're riding on the top because there's no room inside. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the scene here on the top of the bus. Riding with the local boys. This isn't from a car window, this is from the top of the bus. If the bus will fall from here, I will jump from here. You're gonna jump? Yeah. You ready to jump? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Whoa! Shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you good? We made it to Maoist country, baby. This is the uh, official gate of this town. And I guess this is what Maoist country looks like. Not much going on here. Poor child sits in what looks like a rubbish heap. Children have no shoes. <laughs> I was wondering if these villages would have electricity, and apparently they do. 
in the form of solar panels. Andip, what's, what's on the menu today? Dalbat and vegetables. Dalbat and vegetables? Yeah. It looks like dalbat. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a broken axle in the middle of the Nepalese woods. These ladies are fed up with it and are just walking home. It's fixed? I don't believe that. Believe it. The comrades helped us out. We finally made it to feel a grueling seven hour day on this bus. Namaste. You're a soldier. Yeah, I mean, huh? Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah? How old are these guys? <coughs> it's 16 years. 16? Yeah. This is what the Maoist troops are doing during the ceasefire. A friendly game of badminton. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> this kid is in shock. Even Maoist soldiers like Brittany. I wonder what, if Brittany is, falls into the uh, the Maoist doctrine. Does he know that it's him? Yeah. Does he know that it's him? No, it doesn't. He doesn't know, huh? No. This is awesome. Yeah. Who is this? made our initial ascent. We're going over those mountains on a two-day trek to the Maoist headquarters. Tired? Huh? Tired? No. This what? is all to get the story. This is, this is nuts. I thought I was tough. This woman's hiking barefoot. at home this is a PG-13 rating. Uh, we're out in nature, so excuse us. Alright, I can't remember my last shower, so uh, this looks like our best uh, chance of getting clean in the next week or so. This water is freezing, so the strategy is jump in, come out, soap up, soap jump up, back in. Jump in, and that's it. Ooh, Krishna. <laughs> Krishna, watch out! Put some coats on it. <laughs> this is Krishna, our guide. Oh, oh, look at that. That is uh, the Nepali Adonis, ladies and gentlemen. The look Nepali at that Adonis. Sexy body. <laughs> Woo! Uh, our trip took a little longer than expected, and we're gonna have to hike at night <laughs> by flashlight. <laughs> Hiking by flashlight. Breakfast time. Just woke up here in Karikot. Adrian, what are you doing there, man? Uh, wash my face and hands. <clears throat> little bucket of hot water. About to brush some teeth. Man, this is this is ghetto, but it's great. Great, it's good for the soul. <laughs> this is our our hut from the outside. This is a small little village. Every now and again, I look over and I see the villagers are just staring at me. The second I make eye contact, they kind of turn away. Not 
too sturdy. Whoa. One piece of wood breaks. I'm dead. This is scary. We just climbed the entire valley and up this mountain. We're gonna head that way. Okay, Adrian's about to give the communist salute. I love it, I love it. I love it, huh?